in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the specific heat capacity of solid and uh, more specifically the classical theory of a specific heat of solids so that is Dulong and Petit's law so we know that specific heat capacity basically kya hota hai? it is basically a number of degree of freedom number of degree of freedom means the way in which uh, a particle expresses its energy energy means potential energy and kinetic energy so if, uh, so agar hum specific heat capacity ko agar specific tarike se define kare to it will be the uh, it will be the heat absorbed by one unit mass of substance to raise its temperature by one degree ki matlab ek ek unit mass ko hum itni heat supply karenge ki uska temperature ek degree se increase hoga to us heat ko hum bolte hain specific heat of particular substance so now while measuring the specific heat either volume or pressure is kept constant to hum jab usko heat denge substance ko to hum kya karenge ya volume ko constant rakhenge ya pressure ko constant rakhenge agar volume ko constant rakhenge to it will be the specific heat at constant volume aur agar pressure ko constant rakhenge to it will be the specific heat at constant pressure so if i want to write about a specific heat at constant volume so it will be the heat supplied to raise the temperature d del t at constant volume so it will be the rate of change of heat at constant volume with temperature so since according to uh, first law of thermodynamics what is del q so it will be del e plus e d v this is the first law of thermodynamics upon dt at constant volume so since your volume is kept constant here so the change in volume will be zero so therefore this term will be zero since volume is kept constant so it will be is equal to zero so therefore your equation reduces to cv will be de upon dt at constant volume therefore it is basically the rate of change of energy with temperature at constant volume so now so whenever energy whenever this energy is added to a solid then the increase in energy happens in two ways do way may increase energy increase hogi in the first way the energy is used to vibrate the lattice very vigorously कि जब एनर्जी देंगे तो वो जो उस लटाइस में जो एटम होंगे जो पर्टिकुलर लटाइस है आपका वो क्या होगा इट विल वाइब्रेट एंड सेकंडली द फ्री एनर्जी इन द मेटल्स एंड सेमीकंडक्टर्स मे बी एक्साइटेड टू द हायर एनर्जी लेवल पहले वो लटाइस को क्या करेगी एनर्जी वाइब्रेट करेगी फिर वो एनर्जी करेगी जो फ्री लट हमारे उसमें एटम में जो फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन होंगे मेटल में सेमीकंडक्टर में उनको क्या करेंगे वो हाई एनर्जी लो एनर्जी स्टेट से हाई एनर्जी स्टेट पर जाएगी मतलब या किसी भी एटम में अगर ये तो हमें पता है कि किसी भी एटम को अगर हम एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी देंगे तो क्या करेंगे जो उसमें जो एटम जो क्या होंगे वो लो एनर्जी स्टेट में होंगे वो एब्जॉर्व करेंगे एनर्जी को और वो हाई एनर्जी स्टेट में ले जाएंगे मीन्स दे दे मेक द ट्रांजेक्शन फ्राम लो एनर्जी स्टेट टू हाई एनर्जी स्टेट सो देर फोर दिस हीट विल बी स्पेसिफिक हीट विल बी ऑफ टू टाइप सी लेटाइस सी इज सी इज हेयर स्पेसिफिक हीट प्लस सी इलेक्ट्रॉन सो द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट टू द इलेक्ट्रॉन एट द रूम टेम्परेचर इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल हैंस ओनली दैट स्पेसिफिक हीट गिवन टू लेटाइस वाइब्रेशन इज कंसिडर ओनली कंसिडर इट इज नेग्लिजिबल नेग्लिजिबल इन क्लासिकल केस so your specific heat will be of for the solid will be calculated in terms of your specific heat which is used to vibrate the lattice very vigorously so now there were two scientists do long and petit they calculated the vibrational energy for the your for particular lattice atoms of lattice they considered that the atoms in the lattice as a harmonic oscillator so they calculated their vibrational energy so their vibrational energy per per particle per degree of freedom is kt k 
के इज योर वोल्ट मैन कॉन्स्टेंट एट इज टेम्परेचर एब्सल्यूट टेम्परेचर इन इन कैलबिन सो द एनर्जी ऑफ क्रिस्टल ऑफ सपोज क्रिस्टल इज मेड अप ऑफ एन आइडेंटिकल पार्टिकल्स सो देर फोर एनर्जी विल बी थ्री एन इन टू के टी थ्री एन थ्री इज अ डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इन थ्री डायमेंशन एंड दो सिंस इन सिंस वी नो दैट वट इज हीट ऑफ कैपेसिटी ऑफ सोलिड एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम दिस इज द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ एनर्जी विद टेम्परेचर एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम सो देर फोर प्रोटेक्ट दिस 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 डिफरेंशिएटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो देर फोर थ्री एन के विद एन के इज इक्वल टू आर आर इज यूनिवर्सल गैस कॉन्स्टेंट putting the value of this r we will get heat capacity 24/9 joule per mole per kelvin it is also can be expressed in terms of calorie so this heat capacity this much of heat capacity which is constant was calculated by the dulong and petit so so now we will derive this dulong and petit law by considering that the this Uh, suppose uh, this crystal is made up of n number of identical particles, and these n identical particle will be assumed assumed as the simple harmonic oscillators. So now we will find out the classical theory of De Long and Petit's law. So now we know that the all the solids they are composed of atoms in the lattice. So these atoms. Uh, we know that they are assumed to vibrate at their main position and the, they are known this is known as your atomic oscillators so we know that so since, since they are oscillators so since we know that we we always know the energy of your harmonic oscillator which is very simple so therefore if in any problem if you are dealing with uh, to calculate its energy we assume that particular atom has a harmonic oscillator so harmonic oscillator are kind of a trouble shooter for our for our physicists so since let us assume that the your crystal is made up of a number of identical atoms and uh, these atoms are now considered as three dimensional harmonic oscillators which are independent to each other means they are they vibrate independently to each other matlab ek dusre ki vibration ka dusre pe koi asar koi matlab kya koi asar nahi ho raha hai koi effect nahi ho raha hai so <coughs> so since we know that uh, we calculate the specific heat capacity so to specific heat capacity ko calculate karne ke liye hame kya calculate karne padegi pehle us simple harmonic motion uh, oscillator ki hame energy calculate karne padegi so now since we this we know that the energy of simple harmonic oscillator which is having mass m having uh, vibrating with angular frequency omega naught so their energy will be this is the kinetic energy plus potential energy so this is kinetic energy half mb square m se multiply or divide karenge to ho jayega p square upon 2m plus half k x square hoga three dimensional mein to ho jayega x square plus y square plus z square so k is equal to m since we know that for simple harmonic oscillator your omega naught square is equal to k upon m so here k will be m omega naught square so here main isko kya kar raha simplify kar raha hu since isko main bilkul simplify karunga so therefore q square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square is basically your displacement from its mean position in three dimension and p is your momentum so now since we, i have to calculate this energy so according to because there are n oscillators now because they are vibrating with independently to each other now i have to calculate the average energy of these n harmonic oscillator so now average energy kaise calculate karte hain average energy calculate karte hain hum because hum classical hain so hum yahan pe kya le lenge maxwell boltzmann distribution law se calculate karenge average energy so according to volts men distribution law the average energy of each harmonic oscillator is e var is equal to integration e exponential 
let's see upon kt where k is your uh, Oldman constant t is temperature and e is this energy exponential of integral of exponential of minus e on kt into de now i will put the value of this e into this equation so now i will put the value of this equation number one that's value of e into this equation number two so by putting this because they are uh, depending upon two variables momentum and your uh, displacement so therefore there will be two integral momentum integral and uh, integral for position coordinate so this is the value of e this is the value of e so minus ko kar diye separate kar diye integral ko go and de will be composed of dp and dq because they are varying in terms of momentum and position coordinate similarly putting this value of e into this and splitting the integral uh, we have calculated this so now i will separate multi uh, open this bracket and multiply it by this and uh, this only this will get changed so now i have uh, opened the bracket and separate this p term and that is q term so now from here let us uh, demolish this factor this integral p dq and this q this sorry this q this term dq term ko hum cancel kar denge aur idhar se kar denge hum p wal term ko kar denge कैंसिल कर देंगे पी वाल इंटीग्रल को कैंसिल कर देंगे सो नो वी विल गेट एवरेज एनर्जी इन टर्म्स ऑफ पी एंड क्यू सेपरेट हो जाएंगे मतलब इधर से क्या हो जाएगा क्यू वाल इंटीग्रली इंटीग्रल क्यू एक्सपेनशियल हाफ दिस एम ओमेगा स्क्वायर क्यू स्क्वायर के टी डी क्यू और इधर से ये क्यू ये कैंसिल हो जाएगा और इस टर्म में से ये पी वाल इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रल पी एक्सपेनशियल माइनस पी स्क्र टू एम के टी इन टू डी पी और ये एक्सपेनशियल माइनस पी स्क्र टू एम के टी इन टू डी पी ये कैंसिल हो जाएगा सो रेस्ट ऑफ द इंटीग्रल विल बी कैलकुलेटेड एज सो दस बाय सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस वी गेट सेपरेट इंटीग्रल फॉर पी सेपरेट इंटीग्रल फॉर डी क्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर डी क्यू सो नो आई विल टू सॉल्व दिस in so this integral i will simplify i will put your p square 2 m k t is equal to alpha square and uh, m omega naught square q square this term by 2 k t will be p t square so this will be here multiply and divide by k t kt this will be alpha square and multiply and divide by kt this will be 2 kt and kt will be here this will be beta square so this will be transformed as <coughs> or isko hum kya karenge because mere ko dp chahiye to ye ho jayega 2 p dp 2 m kt will be 2 alpha d alpha 2 से 2 कैंसिल और इधर से हो जाएगा तुम्हारा इधर मेरे को किस में टू की में इसमें टू एम एल्फा नॉट स्क्र क्यू इन टू डी क्यू टू के टी दिस विल बी टू बीटा डी बीटा सो इधर से हम क्या कर लेंगे इसमें पुट कर देंगे बीटा और अल्फा की वैल्यू सो होल विल बी कैलकुलेटेड एस सो नाउ बाय यूजिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा स्केयर दिस इज अल्फा स्केयर एंड दिस इज बीटा स्केयर मल्टी नाइन डिवाइड बाई के टी दिस विल बी के टी सो पुटिंग दिस वैल्यूज we will get so this is the resultant equation by putting the value of that is uh, alpha square and uh, so now this becomes your standard integral so now by using the value of standard integral this alpha square integral minus unit to unit alpha square exponential minus alpha square d alpha will be up, um, on root pi onto and this will be on root pi 
similarly this is also of this form so putting this value by solving this we will get kt by 2 kt by 2 this is kt so average value for these uh, for a particular for one harmonic oscillator and average energy will be kt so since we know that your crystal is your solid is made up of capital n number of independent harmonic oscillator so so thus therefore your total energy this is only for one and thus total uh, average vibrational energy and total vibrational energy for n number of harmonic oscillator will be n into e bar and since they are three dimensional harmonic oscillator so three uh, degree of freedom will be three three dimensions the degree of freedom will be three because there are three independent coordinate to express particles energy so therefore this is multiplied by three so putting this value of e bar into this equation so three into n e bar is equal to n k t since n into Boltzmann constant is nothing but this n k t is nothing but your sorry this uh, this is your total energy this is nothing but basically r universal gas constant so since we know that what is the specific heat capacity at constant volume of solar this will be the rate of change of this energy with respect to temperature at constant volume so therefore this will be dt into 3 n k t at constant volume so t therefore the remainder term will be 3 n k so therefore this number of particles into Boltzmann constant is nothing but your universal gas constant here universal gas constant is equal to n into Boltzmann constant so by putting the value of this universal gas constant we will get that is in terms of calorie this will be 5196 calorie mole inverse temperature Kelvin inverse this is over is cover hum agar hum mole ki term mein likhe isko so mole sorry jo joule ki term mein likhe so this will be 24.9 joule per mole per Kelvin because एक कैलरी में कितने जूल होंगे 4.18 सो इस 4.18 से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो जूल 24.9 जूल मोल पर मोल पर कैलविन दिस इस कांस्टेंट दिस इस नथिंग बट कांस्टेंट सो नाउ दिस इस नॉन एजर टू लॉन्ग एंड पेटेट लॉ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द do long and petit law your specific heat capacity for solid is constant so now but there are some drawbacks so now let us discuss this drawbacks by assuming plotting your uh, specific heat capacity with respect to temperature so now as we plot the specific heat of solid with respect to temperature so now we observe um, important uh, phenomena from here so now at room temperature Suppose at room temperature, this is at room temperature, your <coughs> heat capacity is independent of temperature as we know that this is Cv is equal to 3 N K or 3 R which is nothing but 5.96 calorie per mole per Kelvin or 24.9 joule per mole per Kelvin. So this is independent of temperature. There is no temperature. It so it is independent of temperature and it is constant. So now it is up to from room temperature to up to melting point. It is constant. That is three R. So this is well known. Your this is the range for De Long and Petit law. 
बट नाउ एट लो टेम्परेचर सी बी टेंस टू जीरो एज टी टेंस टू जीरो एंड हीट कैपेसिटी फॉलोज योर टी क्यूब लॉ एज टी नियर टू जीरो जैसे जैसे टेम्परेचर हमारा जीरो की तरफ अप्रोच करेगा तो सी बी कौन सा लॉ फॉलो करेगी टी क्यूब लॉ सो एंड दिस इज इन केस ऑफ और ये किसके लिए होगा इंसुलेटर के लिए होगा और टी क्यू लॉ लॉ का फॉलो होगा इंसुलेटर के लिए सो एट टी अप्रोच टू जीरो योर सी बी फॉलोज योर देर विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इट विट बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टी क्यूब लॉ टेम्परेचर जीरो अप्रोच होगा तो सी बी टी क्यूब लॉ को फॉलो करेगा एंड दिस इज फॉर इंसुलेटर्स और ये डिलॉन्ग पेट्रिक लॉ का बोलिया वाइट विल बी एट फॉर द रूम टेम्परेचर यहाँ से यहाँ तक मेल्टिंग पॉइंट तक डिलॉन्ग पेट्रिक लॉ फॉलो होगा रूम टेम्परेचर के लिए बट लो टेम्परेचर के लिए लॉन्ग पेट्रिक लॉ इज नो लॉन्गर वैलिड सो इट इज द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ डिलोंग पेट्रिक लॉ दैट इट कैन नॉट डिस्क्राइब इट इज नॉट फॉलोड फॉर लो टेम्परेचर रेंजेस